So in this video we're going to look at this device here. I call this my remote room monitor and this is my prototype board before I built the PC board. So basically how this works you plug this cable here into your phone line of your house using this RJ11 plug. You plug that into your phone jack of your house. Now when you call that number, say with your cell phone, this device will automatically answer the phone and connect this high sensitive microphone to the line. That enables you to monitor that location remotely. So if you had an alarm that went off in your house, you could actually call your house and monitor any activity in there before you go to that location. So once it's activated, this little pod here adjusts the sensitivity of the microphone. So you could actually, you could actually set it up so you could monitor the whole floor of the house. It's very sensitive. Now, when this when this device answers the phone, this LED comes on, indicates that it is has answered the phone line and is transmitting audio onto the line. So I'll hook that up and I'll demonstrate it. So I'll plug that into the phone line and I'll call it. And you'll see the LED come on. So the LED there is on. And now you can hear audio on the microphone being transmitted to the phone line. Now when I hang up the phone, if you watch the LED, the line will be disconnected. So that's basically the operation of this little device. So what I actually ended up using this circuit for was to monitor my irrigation system, my automatic irrigation system in my house here. Um, if you take this microphone and attach it to your main water supply line into your house, you could actually hear the flow of water through the pipe. So sometimes my automatic system doesn't come on and if I'm away I could actually call and listen to the, the line and see if the, if the, if the water is on. Also, it would be good for listening for water leaks in your house, say a, a frozen water pipe that bursts, or the hoses to your, to your washer. Any kind of leak in your house, you'll be able to detect it through listening, listening through the water line. Now, the nice feature of this circuit is that you don't need any batteries to power it. So you can plug it into a location, leave it, leave it there for a long period of time without worrying about, worrying about batteries dying on you. But my biggest problem in designing this circuit was to detect the ringing voltage and automatically answer the phone with a circuit that had to work without any power. So I'll describe how I solved that problem. So here's my little ring detector circuit. So what this circuit does is detect a ringing signal from the phone line and automatically answer the phone. So what it does, the ringing signal comes down the tip and ring line onto this cable here which is a, a 20 hertz 90 volt RMS AC signal. It gets rectified by those four diodes, a bridge rectifier. It's fed into a neon light bulb, as you see there. Now, normally the light bulb is open circuit, but when it gets hit with a voltage of 90 volts, the, the, the neon gas ionizes and it becomes a low resistance. And the output of the neon bulb feeds this SCR. So it hits the gate of this SCR, which triggers it on and puts the load across the line, which is this LED, and starts drawing loop current and answers the phone. So the phone line will be, will be off hook. So what, what I'll do, I'll phone the line, and if you watch the neon bulb, you'll see it come on, and you'll see it trigger the SCR and the LED will come on. So now this, the circuit is in, is in an off-hook condition. So now the phone has been answered. And now audio can be sent down the line. Now if I hang up the phone on the other end, you'll see the LED go out. It'll go back to on-hook condition because the central office of the, of the phone exchange will actually break the loop momentarily and the SCR will shut off, which will shut off the current to the LED. So see... You saw the LED go out, so now it's back to an uh, on-hook condition, ready for the next call.